welcome to part 9 of the Mega Man Eternal playthrough. So, we're gonna be taking on this part, Tomb Woman, the Lady Mistress of the Robot Master roster in Mega Man Eternal. We're heading off to Studio 69 to find and defeat Tomb Woman. So, the first thing I'm gonna say when we enter this level is stay in the middle. The uh, Rock Giros will send a uh, sinusoidal wave, which is a hint for later on of what we're going to be encountering. But anyway, this level is based off of a couple of interesting facets from previous Bagman games. It has springs like Springman's level, but it's highly inspired by Flashman's level in Mega Man 2. So hence, it's actually one of the it's actually the shortest of the Robot Master levels in the game. So, here comes our first major feature of this level, the spotlights. Now, in this level you have to be very careful, uh, make sure you don't fall into a pit, so take your time with this level. If you don't, you may cost your life. So, here comes the next thing. So with the spotlights, there are these lights that are very s similar to the ones in uh, Shadow Man's level, that, uh, that will, that, that do in fact uh, dim out. If you use Jolt Shocker on those, it actually lights them up even brighter. That's just a little tip there, and then now you're gonna... Now, now keep in mind that you want to watch out for these enemies called the Porygs. The clam-like enemies are the, easily the most cheapest enemy in this game. So make sure you just take them out, because they can come out from left or right, or top or bottom. Uh, they're just a pain in the butt. Since we have Primal... Primal... Uh, no. Yeah, since we have Primal Bomb, uh, we've had that for a while, you can use that actually to break down these little barricades. It's the equivalent to Crash Bomb in, in, for Mega Man 2. Ready at the checkpoint? If you take this lower route, although you won't get Eddie's, uh, Eddie's item, you will actually be able to get past a little bit of obstacles. Now in this part, the lights dim on and off, but also there are spotlights, so... Here I strongly recommend waiting because there are spikes on the ground sometimes and spikes on the ceilings in some time. So, so keep that in mind uh, because there are springs that can launch you to your ultimate death. Take your time, it is a game of patience. Believe it or not, we're almost, to, almost actually to the end of this level. Now there's a good reason why I say that this level is similar to Flashman's level. It's actually the segment that's coming up very short. Uh, here, a tip is uh, take the upper route and just shoot because uh, there is a Cello Joe just sitting there. Now here you can either take take either route. I would recommend the left side because there is a little bit of uh, life energy there. Take down the middle and you can stay on the right side. If you take the left route, I would highly advise not to do that. Because there's a Gyrohopski down well the Gyrohopski down at the bottom. It's pretty much the equivalent of those nasty Mega Man 5 enemies. Except this one shoots missiles. Uh, just stay away from those as far as far as possible away from them. And of course take the take the upper route here and just make sure to watch and engage how much of your height you have when you launch off the springs here. And here we go, we're at the end nice. Here we go. We're at the concert here. Here we go. So we got the metals in the crowd. They like to jump around and run across the screen and all kinds of things. Now, Clant Man's weapon is the Toon Woman's weakness. Got to put a pinch on her. So what I recommend doing is just staying low. Hope she appears on that screen, and you're gonna just uh, just dodge her sinusoidal two note. It's a uh, moves in a sinusoidal pattern, and what it does is it, it dips up and down. So it's very easy to predict. But keep in mind, just just take your time with her, and there'll be no problems whatsoever. So now the weapon that we've got here is honestly one of the less favorable weapons, but it is handy when you're dealing with enemies that are directly above you, or in terms of platforms, and and also it's extremely useful against Scorchman, uh, who happens to be a real Paul, or Hoss, as some would say. 
But anyways, we got the next Mega Man Killer coming up, Anchor. So the last of the three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it up here. And what's gonna happen is, uh, we'll note that it says Lights Lab. Uh, keep that in mind. Our next part is gonna be some dramatic fun. And we're gonna be saving and we're gonna be wrapping things up here. So have yourself a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next part.